Then Rene Moxley Good was in the back with MJF, and again, a well-done promo. He wants Juice to win because the left hand of God is going to meet the right hand of the devil. And again, MJF is glib, and he's great, and he's natural. <sighs> Boy, it just doesn't have the... It doesn't have the oomph of the, the heel MJF, but now I'd, maybe you can help here explain to me. She asked him to give an update on his friendship with Adam Cole. And as he starts to do that, here comes Max Caster and, and Bowens and Billy Gunn, the, the acclaimed and Billy. And they still want an eight-man tag team match. And Caster is pitching this. We want an eight-man tag match, us and you against them guys, and we'll, we'll win all the belts and we'll scissor afterward. And MJF said, no, I'm, I'm good. And then Caster suddenly goes from that where he wants to team with MJF and help him, and he's his friend. Well, then what about if I enter the Battle Royal tonight and I win and I beat you next week and then you're going to have to, and he holds his hand out, and he says, put a ring on it. And is it my imagination, Brian, or is it my hearing, which we've established as going, but when he stuck his hand out and said, put a ring on it, was he doing a stereotypically effeminate voice that one would do if one was trying to appear or make fun of gay people? with his partner standing there who is actually gay and well thought of in the community. What are they doing here? Are they trying to piss their people off? Well, again, I think, to be honest, we don't know anything about Max Castor's personal life, so let's not make any assumptions one way or another. No, I'm not making I'm saying that is this bad creative that now Max Castor is having some kind of crush on MJF and is... Because nobody... MJF walks off on him. And then Bowen says, hey, too much, dude. And Billy Gunn says, that guy's a scumbag. But then Caster, with a face like in a sitcom, like at the break of Leave it to Beaver, says, yeah, but he's my scumbag. What are they trying to do here? Okay, look, it's, it's bad, and it's bad, but it's good bad, too. It's good, <laughs> it's good bad in one sense. Apparently, and I... Mention this briefly, but I heard from some other people. MJF and Caster have been doing this online for years. Where Caster is like a creepy lover of MJF. And MJF wants nothing to do with this guy. So they're now brought it on to here. So if you're someone who's been following this on social media, that's what I said was the bad good. This is, this is playing out. This is something that makes sense. Long-term booking. The problem is, I think they want to do something probably to heat up the acclaim that they need to, because they're they need help right now. And having them with babyface MJF on paper should be good for them. But the route they're taking, again, AEW fans will probably accept this and like it because they just want to be in on the joke. But it's whether it's a uh, a sexual thing or just a you know, creepy stalker thing. He has some kind of man crush on MJF. Single white male? I guess. But, but, and, you know, and you, you have to think, too, it's eventually why, gonna... why make your baby faces look like mental cases and like weirdos and creepy or childish or whatever they're doing? I couldn't answer that. I mean, again, this is not what I would do to heat them up. Heat up the acclaim by putting it with MJF, or are they going to put MJF in a block of ice by having him interact in this fashion with the acclaimed being silly? Again, I don't know. It's uh, it's been an interesting (laughs) series of booking decisions with the acclaimed ever since they got over big time, ever since that match where they didn't win the belts, but the crowd went crazy behind them. It's been a lot of questionable booking since then. Obviously, we know the end game is them teaming up with MJF. You would have to think because of the way it's all building. Boy, somebody's going to look like Ned and the third reader, or or Ned and the first reader, or whatever. If, uh, as Jr. used to say, if if they don't, but what? Uh, 
All right. Well, that those are my thoughts on that segment. 